Hello, welcome to this video tutorial, Finding Full Text from a Citation. So what is a citation? It's the basic information you have that describes an article from a journal, magazine, or newspaper. Here's an example of an unformatted citation, and then below, the same citation formatted in APA style. We have three options to finding full text from a citation. We can use the simple search box, find the journal by title, or we can use the PubMed ID number or DOI if we have that. Let's take a look at all three different ways. The first way you can find full text from a citation is by using the simple search box. From the library homepage, in the simple search box, put in the article title enclosed in quotation marks. From the result list, we see the first record is a match. However, this is not always the case, so be sure to double check the citation information like the author's publication date and journal title. Our second option is using Find the Journals by Title. From the library homepage, select your option and then type in the name of the journal, magazine, or newspaper from your citation. For this journal, we have it available in several different places. You will want to select the resource that has the date coverage that you need. Then you will browse by date, matching volume and issue number until you find the full text of your citation. The final way to find full text is by using the PubMed ID number or the DOI. The PMID is a unique number string that the database PubMed uses to identify articles. Here's an example of where to find the PubMed ID number in a citation in PubMed. The other option is using the DOI, which is a number letter string assigned to articles. If you have either the PubMed or DOI, start at the Find Journals by Title on the library homepage. You're going to select the Citation Finder from the tabs at the top, and then scroll down till you'll see the PubMed ID box or the DOI. If you have either the PubMed or DOI, you can cut and paste or enter that information there and search in order to find the full text. So for this article, several resources came up that had the full text, so I could click on any of those to get to the full text of the article. If the article was not available, you would have been given the option at this point to request a copy through Interlibrary Loan. Thank you for viewing the video tutorial. Please check back for other great tutorials whenever you need a little help.